happy Monday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, our next system is coming in, and it is starting with an atmospheric river still coming to Southern California first, just like my last update. It's going to rotate around and bring some high winds with it as well. But as it comes through the center of the U.S. from Wednesday, Thursday, including Friday, it is bringing some severe weather on the south side and some snow on the north side. And you can see this best from your tropal pause that you have all this precipitation coming, still coming towards center in Southern California the most, still getting the heaviest going towards Northern Mexico. But as it goes towards Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday especially, it is bringing severe weather towards the south and the southeast, bringing some chances for a lot of flooding also for the central U.S. and the Tennessee, Kentucky Valley. In the upper Midwest, so the cold temperatures are going to stay there. We are in a negative PNA, and it is bringing snowfall for y'all as well. The National Weather Service has put it from Tuesday into Wednesday for California. Your rain for the coast and valleys is 1 to 3 inches. Lower mountains and foothills is 2 to 4 inches. Your snowfall is 2 to 4 feet above 6,000 feet elevation, 10 to 20 inches for 5,000 to 6,000, and then it gets smaller and smaller, 2 to 10 inches from 4,000 to 5,000. But your winds are going to pick up. You have 40 to 60 miles per hour wind gusts for the coast and valleys, but 60 to 80 miles per hour wind gusts for the mountains and the desert. And you can see a little better here. It does bring all your precipitation, brings your storm system. But as it comes towards the center of the U.S., it starts bringing the severe weather as well as the snowfall. And you can see you get a little strip of snow for the upper Midwest coming into Thursday, but the big play is coming Thursday into Friday. And all this training of these systems is going to bring a lot of flooding with that as well as you get more heavy snowpack coming for the Great Lakes, mostly around Michigan and the New England states as you go out through the weekend. Now you can see here from high resolution that it does bring all these storms tomorrow morning towards Los Angeles area. Then it revolves around and goes towards Sacramento as you go through the afternoon. And then one more time back towards Los Angeles area. And this is bringing your chances for your high winds, so just be aware of that. Now this hasn't changed ever since the last update. You still got rainfall coming to the higher elevations of California and Southern California, as well as some for Oregon as well. Four Corners is gonna see a lot of good snow out of this, but it is bringing heavy precipitation all across Tennessee, Kentucky Valley, towards the South Central and Ohio Valley. Everybody else is gonna see snowfall out of this, especially up here from Michigan, the New England states, the four corners getting heavy, as well as the West Coast. Now, the mounts are different according from Euro and GFS, but Euro is trending with the Canadian as far as the tracks. You're going to get that first little squall come to the upper Midwest. You're going to get a second one that's going to give a little bit. It's totally missing Minnesota. But you are having a major snowstorm coming all the way from Michigan all the way to the New England states as you go into the weekend. Now, this does increase your flash flooding. So for Thursday, you have a flash flood risk, and Friday, you have a flash flood risk. And it has a slight risk all the way from northern Texas all the way up towards Indiana and Ohio. And as you go through Friday, it's going to be a little bit further to the south, and your seriousness is going to be in the slight risk. All these storms training over and over is what's bringing you all this flash flooding. And you can see this best as you get that little system going to the upper Midwest, not bringing too much snowfall on that little piece. As you go into Thursday, it's going to start training these storms all the way from Texas all the way to the Ohio Valley, Thursday and Friday. Now, Thursday is going to be a little bit more northern, but Friday is going to be a little bit more to the south. So it is training these storms over and over for hours. Then it's going to bring that major snowfall. Now, the good thing about this is when you look at vorticity, you can see that it stays in a positive tilt, not a negative tilt. If it was swooping through with that negative tilt, it'd be a lot more severe weather coming out of this. So far, it looks like it's going to be chances for maybe a little bit of damage and winds. There is a supercell or two that is possible, maybe even a squall line popping up for Friday afternoon in front of this system. But there is going to be chances for hail as well coming with this. Now you can see with the upper level winds that they do get a little bit of strength, not a lot of white in there, especially from Wednesday. Thursday is going to be a little bit further to the south, Thursday into Friday. Not super strong, but it will be some winds. Now Euro isn't showing a whole bunch of winds. You can see those strong winds coming for Southern California, just like it showed even in the mountains getting higher. You might get high 40s and low 50s for the four corners. And as you go through the Ohio Valley, you may be getting a high 40s, maybe touching 50. 
Now you can see in the lightning strikes that they are pretty strong lightning strikes and chances for hail definitely coming with the system. So as you go Thursday night for Oklahoma into overnight and Friday morning, you have it for Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. So a lot of lightning strikes bring in chances for hail. And as you go through Friday evening, it goes all across the south. Also get another white spike there for 10 o'clock on Friday night. So it could be a little bit of hail issue on Friday as well. Now, National Weather Service has supercells are possible in areas where a discrete mode can be maintained. This appears most probable from the south central Oklahoma into the Texas Hill Country. So for Thursday, they have you for a 15% severe weather risk. For Friday, it's going to move a little bit further to the east, and now your severe weather risk is going from Memphis, Tennessee, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, all the way to Huntsville, Alabama. Chances for that hail, guys. And now that the cold front has passed through, this is your coldest morning this morning. It is going to be a little chilly for tomorrow morning, especially in the south. That's about the end of it. But I hope you all are ready for the warm-up, because now it's time for the warm-up. We're going to stay on warm temperatures all week along, even while they get this snowstorm, all the way from Friday to Saturday to Sunday. It's going to stay warm all this week, guys, mostly for everybody, but the upper Midwest and the Rocky Mountains. Y'all going to stay really cold. And you can see this pattern sticks around for quite some time. For the next 6 to 10 day temperature probability, you're well above average in the southeast. I don't think y'all going to see those freezing temperatures anymore this season. And you're well below average on the west coast because we're in a negative PNA. Even when you go to 8 to 14 days, 2 weeks out guys, still the same pattern. We're on the negative PNA. These storms are coming from the southwest to the upper midwest with the cold air locked in on the west coast. And you're still going to be above average in the south and southeast. Now remember, we are giving away another one of these solar weather stations for today. So you must be a subscriber, you must hit the like button, and you must put the comment weatherman in the comments below. I will pick the winner tomorrow in my next video. So if you hear from anybody from Telegram, remember it is a scam. It is not me. But thank you so much for your time today. Happy Monday to every single one of you. This storm is not going to be no super serious humongous storm it is bringing a little bit of winds and the atmospheric river for southern california it is bringing the severe weather with chances for damaging winds and hail i will update you on the chances for the tornadoes as we get closer we're literally looking at day four and day five on that guys and the snowfall isn't going to move around much it's pretty much in a set pattern but i hope you all have a very great day today i want to do just a speedy update for y'all so y'all can see what was going on this week that's pretty much what we got for this week. But today, to start your week off, I want to give you a little bit of strength. I want to talk about Psalm 27, 1 through 4. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Amen. Have a very blessed Monday out there, everybody. God bless you and your families. Have a very great week. Start off positive, start off strong, and you will have a great week. I believe that very dearly. I believe in every single one of you. Have a very, very great day today. And remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And may he always keep peace in your hearts and love in your home now and forevermore. <laughs> Amen! <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> Have a great day, <laughs> everybody. <laughs>